in the beginning, in the beginning, in it's, the beginning. it's literally addressed to... Hey everyone, we're Jackie and Bobby Angel, and welcome to Ascension Presents. The Catechism of the Catholic Church. What is it, and why do we love it? Because we do. So the Catechism essentially sums up the entire Catholic faith. It has scripture, it has tradition, it has quotes from the saints, it has all the documents. It's essentially the Catholic faith summed in a very, and actually it says in itself, in a very organic way in its entirety. So if you want to know what the church teaches, and maybe you've heard somebody say, oh, well, the Catholic church teaches this, you could really just direct them to the catechism and say, actually, that's not what the church teaches. Because in the catechism, that is what we believe, summed up in scripture and tradition, the whole magisterium. I am so thankful, by the way, for being Catholic and having a magisterium. It's not just every person for themselves. It's not just we all can believe whatever we want when we read scripture, but it's this is what the church teaches. Um, so I love that we have a catechism. It's also beautifully written. And sometimes if you've been exposed to the catechism, it can just seem like this dry encyclopedia. Like it's this kind of more of a textbook I go to if I have a question, why do we believe something? And you don't realize when you sit down and read it, it's actually pretty beautiful. I mean, the very beginning of the catechism it's one of my favorite like paragraphs, like part one, section one, part one, the desire for God. The desire for God is written in the human heart because man is created by God and for God and God never ceases to draw man to himself. It doesn't come out the gate. Here's all the rules and here's what we believe to make you miserable and control you. It's the desire for God is written on the human heart. Not the Catholic heart, the human heart. Like every single human being has a desire for God and it says right there too, in our whole lives, we will search for truth and happiness, and we will never find that unless we essentially find God. So the catechism, and even in itself, the catechism said that this whole teaching is directed to the love that never ends. So it's not just a bunch of rules. It is so beautiful. It speaks to the human heart. And it's coherent. You really yeah. see that it's not just random pickings of what we believe. There's this coherent, beautiful wholeness to the Catholic thing. And even like the, the quotes from the saints that are littered throughout, it's just it, some beautiful stuff like toward, like in the section one, sorry, article one of the, the tradition of prayer from St. John Vianney. I love you, oh my God, and my only desire is to love you until the last breath of my life. Like, it's not just a dry encyclopedia of, of facts. The catechism is, is written beautifully and has, as Jackie said, just this cohesive weaving of of church documents, of councils, the church fathers, and saints that are even in our modern times with their writings littered throughout. And one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things is if you are reading scripture along with the catechism is that in the catechism, you go to the back and you have the whole gospel of John here. And every single verse, it says in the catechism where it is named. And then after all of scripture, so I literally one time sat down, I think I was reading Romans, and I went through every verse, saw where it was in the catechism where they quoted Romans, which is a ton. Some of these verses are quoted like five to 10 times because that's how, that's how important they are in, our, in what we teach in salvation, all, salvation history. And then after scripture, it goes to the pontifical documents and it goes to where those are listed in, in the Vatican I, Vatican II, Lumen Gentium, all these things. And then it goes to the saints, which I also love. Oh, it has canon law, the liturgy, ecclesiastical writers. Okay, and then it has the saints. So I could be like, oh yeah, like we just did. I said, St. John Vianney has a baller quote in the catechism. So we look up his name and it tells us exactly in the catechism where they quoted him. Cause they'll quote certain saints will be quoted a lot like Aquinas, Augustine, um, yeah, Augustine's right here, quoted well, a page and a half of All stuff. the time. So I love the catechism as a resource, but it's so beautiful. So, the teachings of the church are so beautiful, but it's also beautifully written um, and it's very poetic. And I was challenged when I was maybe in college, I think I was in college, I was challenged by a catechetics professor to read the whole catechism front to back. And he said, listen, there are 83, I think, in brief sections of the catechism. And so if you read up to an in brief section every day, it would take you 83 days to do it, which is actually not that much. But guess what? Somebody is doing the catechism in a year. Hello, Father Mike Schmitz from Ascension Presents. Um, Father Mike is doing the catechism in a year. And what's amazing, it's 
not going to take 83 days. It's going to take 365, which means that he's going to be able to go into depth of a lot of the catechism. And I can't wait. I'm super excited because I love the catechism and I can't wait to read it again in its entirety. So if you've been blessed by a Bible in a year, then please consider doing the catechism in the year, which we're going to do as well, along with Ascension's brand new uh, publishing of the catechism, which is beautifully designed. It's got some helpful charts. And just we love our charts. Again, taking the catechism as something that's not just a dry resource, but something that the Holy Spirit has really directed and given to the Catholic Church so that it's not just us by ourselves figuring out how do I follow the Lord. It's, it's all here. And it's not just us kind of figuring out what, making up stuff, what we believe, or trying to figure it out ourselves. It's like we, this has all been laid down for 2,000 years. This beautiful, with scripture, with tradition, with, with the, whole, the whole church. It's so, I just feel so blessed that we as a Catholic church have a magisterium. Because no other church has that. They don't have a magisterium. And, and, and so it's like, this is, this is what we believe. We don't have to just pretend or try to figure out what we, it's like, here it is. And then it's like, all right, am I going to, do I believe this? Am I going to follow Jesus? Is this, is this really the truth, beauty, and goodness? And I'm like, heck yes, it is. So we hope you guys join us for Catechism in a Year because we will be there and it's going to be awesome. I and mean, we're not going to be in the podcast, but we're going to be listening with you. We'll be around. We'll be around in the ether. <laughs> Please like, comment, subscribe from all of us at Ascension Presents. God bless. We're not floating in the ether. Because we're, we're not. We're material. Because we're humans. But when we are in heaven, we will float. I will float. We'll I will fly, we'll actually. Find you. I'm going to be hanging out in Hawaii. We'll find you. Sipping some pina coladas. <laughs> We're going to find you. We're going to find you. And you can run and tell that. Run and tell that. Home, 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 home boy. <laughs>